Hell's Angels on Wheels is a biker movie directed by Richard Rush. It was produced by Paul Lewis and photographed by Laszlo under the anglicized pseudonym Leslie Kovacs, both of whom went on with Jack Nicholson to make Easy Rider the following year. Easy Rider was directed by Dennis Hopper. It was the film which broke the conventional biker movie mold, a mold set by Marlon Brando in The Wild One. Hell's Angels on Wheels is a fairly traditional piece. Though former Hell's Angels president, Sonny Barger, is credited as technical consultant, and though both angels and nomads appear in the riding sequences, like most biker movies, the film is squeaky clean. There's very little violence, and what there is, is at the level of a John Ford barroom brawl. What it does have is a lot of humor and a great deal of sexual tension. It also has a lot of motorbikes. In that sense, it actually sets the pace for Easy Rider. There are several bike riding scenes set to pop tunes which serve as transitions. One of them, a telephoto lens sequence accompanied by a song called Going Nowhere, is spectacularly good, better than any of the riding sequences in Easy Rider. The film's bike sequences start off somewhat familiar and staid, but as the film progresses, the bikers get more into it and start doing stunts and falling off. There's even a wonderful sequence which should be familiar to all bikers, in which our heroes get stuck behind a lorry on a winding road. Hell's Angels on Wheels was made at the tail end of the time when the American cinema glorified rebels instead of cops. Hence, the police in the film are generally unsympathetic, as are the military characters, who pull knives when challenged to a fair fight. No Hell's Angel would ever do that. Variety was rather dismissive of Hell's Angels on Wheels when it came out. They said of Jack Nicholson that his contribution was made up mostly of variations on a grin. Plus ça change. Richard Rush went right on doing biker movies nonetheless, including the somewhat more destructive Savage 7. He also directed Psych Out, Getting Straight, and The Stuntman, a great movie about the movie business, during which he suffered a heart attack. Since then, he's been scheduled to direct Millennium, Air America, and Total Recall, all of which he sadly disappeared from before they were committed to film. He's currently working on a script called Fat Lady, about the plane in which American terrorist Eugene Hassenfuss was shot down over Nicaragua. Paul Lewis and Laszlo Kovacs have been more productive. Lewis has produced all Dennis Hopper's movies, including Colors and The Recent Hot Spot. He also produced the odd cult serial murder film, The Hitcher. Kovacs became noted as a serious photographer. In addition to Easy Rider and the last movie, he shot Five Easy Pieces, Paper Moon, Shampoo, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind.